it's Dorothy Guiney with Scrapbooking Quebec. Today I'm here for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop and I'll be creating a quick and easy 12 by 12 layout featuring Pink Fresh Studios Life Right Now collection. The design is quick and easy. So much so actually that I had trouble finding something to teach in this video. So I thought I'd try something different. I'm going to create my embellishment cluster and talk through that part of the process in real time. That means my voice is going to sound different. It may sound a bit weird, but what the heck. Anyway, here's what I've selected for today's project, which is a bunch of leftovers from the Life Right Now collection. It's safe to say that this collection has been well loved in my scrap room. And the last time I checked, it was all available at the Scrapbook Nerd online shop. So I am going to link up the shop along with the products I use in the description box below. So anyway, here's what's on my desk. I have a five by seven photo of me at a park near my home. I'm just showing you the cover sheet to this Life Right Now collection because all I have left are a bunch of scraps. I think I'm going to be using the three papers that you see on that white paper right now, but I do have some other papers handy just in case. I'm just going through my embellishment tray right now. You can see those tickets there. That's actually one of the papers that I cut apart a long time ago for another project. I have floral ephemera pieces. It's all from the Life Right Now collection, except for that title sheet that I showed you, which was from an older Pink Fresh Studio collection. And I also threw in some enamel dots that I don't end up using. And that was from a past Pink Fresh Studio collection as well. What you see me doing right now is cutting up a bunch of strips of paper. So my plan is to create a wide border over on the left hand side of the page. Now a border is a classic design to use for a scrapbook page, but it's particularly useful when you only have scraps like I have here today. So I'm going to be cutting up these three papers. I'll put measurements for what I'm doing on the screen a little bit later on when I adhere these strips to the page. So what you're going to see me do in a minute, however, is kind of play around with the order. What I do know is I want the striped paper to be the main part of my border. But for the other two, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with them. So I'm toying around with having the tickets come next, then the floral print, but I do try it in the opposite as well. Anyway, you can also see that I do have a mat for my photo and that mat is actually cut out from that ticket paper as well, but it doesn't look like tickets when my photo is on top of it. You just see little bits of the color all around the photo. Before adhering all of this together, I am applying a bit of ink. So the ink I'm using is Morning Mist by Versifying Claire. And I often do this when I create borders or when I create layered photo mats. I'm never heavy handed on the ink. It's just my style to do it lightly. But I find for me a little bit goes a long way in making strips of paper and layers look cohesive, making them look like they all belong together. So you can see I'm adhering my border together and I'm also adhering my photo to the mat. Now what I will do is I will adhere this border to my page, which by the way is a 12 by 12 basil marshmallow cardstock. It's my favorite white cardstock. I am going to keep my photo separate for the time being because I am going to be wanting to play around a lot with embellishing. Now what I'm showing you right now is a quick look once again at my tray and I'm showing you those titles there. That again is from a past Pink Fresh Studio collection along with those enamel dots. But everything else here is from the Life Right Now collection. Now I do want to create a journaling box. So I have this piece of graph paper which is from Simple Stories and I want to create that in a circle and I also want to create a mat behind it. And that's what you see me doing right now, just looking for a paper to put behind it. I end up doing my cutting off camera because my big shot is upstairs and I am downstairs. So you're going to see me come in in a moment and I will have my journaling box created. So there you go. What I did off camera is I adhered my mat behind my journaling box and there's a couple layers of scrap cardstock underneath the graph paper just to make it more substantial and basically I narrowed down 
my embellishment selection. So that's what I'm showing you right now. And I even found a title from that title sheet from a past Pink Fresh Studio collection. So all of this is around me and I'm about to start real time. So I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start with this journaling box here. That's gonna be the base to my embellishment cluster. And what I'm gonna do is basically build around this. So I'm gonna have one main embellishment cluster on this page, and I may add a bit of a repetition to that here, but the focus is gonna be here with the journaling box, with the title, almost everything is gonna be in this bottom right corner. So I always start with the biggest piece. It's gonna be this journaling box here. And the next big, biggest pieces, I guess you would say, are these ticket pieces and the ephemera pieces. So um, I have the purples, blues, and grays. So that is my intention. So they do have words on them. I want them to make sense, but some of the words may be covered up. This one here says, just slow down and relax. That makes sense to me. Quality time with my fave people, absolutely. My weekend is fully booked. Yeah, it has books on it, but that was a weekend adventure. Maybe I will cover up some of those words. Favorite podcast. Again, because the words are there and if they don't make sense, that's not really a big deal because I will be kind of uh, piling them up. I also have these other pieces here um, noted. This is all, this is what it's all about. Okay, I'm going to start with this. So, Basically, what I want to do is kind of build out on this circle here. So I'm going to start by just kind of bouncing these tickets up and down. I really do like these tickets. Um, let's see here. Again, I don't mind if some of the words are covered up. You see that there are words there and that they probably mean something, but I don't mind if some of the words are covered up. Maybe I'll build it up here towards the side. So I'm kind of liking that. I like the color combo with that. I like that my journaling box is there. So now typically what I want to do is continue building here. And I find these floral ephemera pieces perfect for that. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, most of them I have in the purple. Um, I did put a bit of red in here. So I'm, I'm just going to see how this looks. So I don't have many of these floral pieces left. When I bought them, I bought two packs. I absolutely love them. Um, and a, a lot of what I have left are these kind of bell-shaped flowers. So that's what I want to kind of use up here. But the purple goes well. So let's... So you can see here when I'm building it as well, I'm kind of working with the layers. So this journaling box has a few layers. I tucked the stem behind it. I have one of the flowers overlapping it. This one here, I'm tucking it behind this ephemera piece, but I'm overlapping the flowers on the journaling box. Now I do need room for my journaling, obviously, but I don't mind having a little bit of overlapping happening here. Um, hmm, maybe I'll bring that up a bit. I'm this is glued. Okay, I'm gonna tuck that in here. I, I, I don't know if I like this. When I'm creating embellishment clusters, sometimes I, I doubt myself, um, but then I, I just keep moving forward. At this point, I haven't glued anything down, so it really, really isn't that much of a big deal. I'm just playing, and I find that the only way I can create an embellishment cluster is if I permit myself to play. If I don't permit myself to play, I'll just never know if something looks good or not. I like all of this, but I will probably be creating a, a complimentary page, so I'm going to want to save some for that. I'm kind of liking this right now. I should get my title out. Me time. No, I don't want to cover that up down here. Could be. All right. I'm not disliking that. So you can see it's really big here. Um, I'm liking that. It... I will probably put something very, very small here, but I think I am going to wait until I actually adhere this down. There is something very loud happening outside at my home right now. I'm very sorry about that. But anyway, the building part of the main part of my cluster is done. So you can see basically I started with that circle. I do like something big and that circle certainly serves the purpose here. Then I came in with the next big thing, which are these tickets here and it kind of 
stretched out my embellishment cluster, and then I more or less completed it with these floral pieces. And I find floral pieces are excellent for just tucking in and around. They're really fun to play with. Then I placed my title. Now I am gonna do some finishing touches, but first I'm going to start adhering this. So I'm gonna speed up the film for this part of the process. So now I'm basically adhering exactly as I had placed them on the page, starting with a photo, then coming in with my journaling box, that large circle. Next, I'm adhering these tickets to the page. And finally, what you're going to see me do is simply tuck in those flowers, just like I did when I was building that embellishment cluster. And it's really fun, I'm saying it again, tucking in these floral pieces. It's a great way to finish up and embellishment cluster. I love playing with them. Anyway, back to real time here. Back to real time here. So I'm having a bit of trouble placing this title here. I feel like, I'll tell you what I feel like. Oh, look who's here. Um, I feel like I'm, I don't know where to put it actually. I feel like I'm missing something here. So maybe what I'll do tuck in another flower to fill in that empty space because I don't want trapped. Oh yeah, I like that. I can tell you already. I'm going to add this in. And what I will do here, yeah, it just fills in that space and I'm much, much happier with it. So now what I'm going to do is place my title and I'll see how this goes. It's really cute. I'm happy I'm finally using these. I've had these for quite some time. It's from a really, well, it's not that old, but I guess it's kind of an old collection. Ooh, I like the color of that though. There we go. Hang on. Oh, I have this little dot that I want to place. Darn it. I can't seem to. I'm going to do that later. How about that? Because I don't want to spend forever doing that, but I do want to place the word me here. Uh, yeah, do I like that? Just a me time, which is exactly what this page was about. Now, I also have this little heart here, which is really cute. Um, I'm thinking of putting it right here. I don't have a whole lot to write here, but I do have a bit to write. I want to write where I was and when it was, of course. So I am just going to place this heart here. Um, I also, how I am, I also want to use some of these flares. So I'm thinking of putting it in the middle of one of these and I want to probably, I don't even know if I need it, but I think I'm going to add a repetition up here. Now I'm just going to look at these flare pieces right now. Little joys. That's definitely what this day was about. Um, I'm going to go with it. What the heck? I think I'm going to pop this up on foam adhesive. So I have these little foam squares here. It's kind of gray. It's kind of understated, but it sticks up and I like it. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, for this, I think I'll probably go in the stickers here. And I think I'm just going to add something like some tabs. So, so I have this purple. Again, I'm kind of focusing. I wish I had wax paper. I'm kind of focusing on the um, Purples and blues, any idea? Okay, today's adventure, that looks document. Today's adventure documented maybe? Let's see how that looks. I'm playing with fire. I should have wax paper here, I usually do. But, what the heck? Okay, I like that. It shows up, but it's understated. I mean, the main part of my embellishment cluster is here, this is just Kind of a way for the eye to start on the page and go right down through to the bottom of the page kind of in a diagonal fashion which is often how i create my layouts here we go today's adventure documented actually i really like that i'm pretty happy with that having a look at the page here i actually am very happy i do have to put my little dot here i hope i haven't lost it i have to add my journaling here um, I do have a tiny attacher, a little stapler, and I thought I might want to put some staples in these. I will do that off camera if I do it, and I will explain it in the end 
at the end of this video. Anyway, that's it for the moment, and I will leave you with the still shots. Thanks for watching. So here's the finished layout. Off camera, I added journaling, I moved the title down a bit, and I added a few staples. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the Scrapbook Nerd YouTube channel, we would be absolutely thrilled if you did. The same thing for my channel, Scrapbooking Quebec. Make sure you check out the Scrapbook Nerd online shop for these products and more. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon on YouTube. Bye-bye.